Um, so, so in my space, um, service design um, is primarily the desirability pillar within the product um, team and the product leadership team. And the product leadership team reports to um, executive. Um, I work quite closely with a product manager who is essentially the viability pillar within that team. And we work closely with the chief technology officer who's essentially playing the role of an architect who plays the feasibility. Mm -hmm. Can we actually build it? Um, what actually makes sense from a scalability perspective? And we sort of have this ongoing conversation around what do our users want? What's the best experiences? What's good for business? And, and uh, uh, as, we, as we go through the, through the financial year. Um, the way mm -hmm. in which I contribute to this conversation is starting um, with, there are, um, I think in my mind, uh, two, two, two to three ways that we are uh, given some sort of a strategic direction. I think one is the um, something is burning. Um, uh, uh, um, <laughs> input point, which is um, we are seeing a drastic drop off um, or uh, we are struggling to retain our users or um, our acquisition has, has, uh, has gone down. And that is essentially becomes a, a, an alarm, alarm bell that uh, prompts mm -hmm. some sort of problem solving. We have to solve that problem. How do we solve the problem? And that kicks off the, the process. That's one aspect. Another aspect is more um, sort of opportunity identifying and uh, very large scale strategic directions from the business. Um, and, and that's mm -hmm. just the beauty of, 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 of business leadership is that they are, their mandate is to foresee what the industry um, um, looks like um, or what they want to, what they want Ikoka to be in the industry and give us some sort of a direction around where we should be heading, um, some sort of a strategic um, direction. How and what we do, I think a lot of it is um, defined in that uh, creative human-centered problem solving um, and um, w within the, the, the tech space they have their methods within the product management space they have their methods and it's an ongoing conversation so I'll say uh, problem or pain points uh, something is burning and also opportunity areas um, and, and my role within that is to use um, design thinking to facilitate how might we solve that problem so I uh, framing mm -hmm. that challenge um, mm -hmm. and then um, doing some form of observation or research to understand uh, why that problem exists. So a lot of the data will tell us what's going on. Um, a lot of the times X X will tell us um, um, what we should be doing or a list of the potential opportunities. And understanding why, mm -hmm. who, how um, is what the qualitative and sometimes even quantitative research will allow us to do. So so that's 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 part of of my role within that process. And I, I do not work alone. I, I do have a currently a research analyst that does a lot of the, mm -hmm. really the heavy lifting and she's such, such a brilliant person at what she does uh, to, to do that understanding. Um, and we move through the various phases of the design thinking process. I think the key difference um, in my space as a service designer is that a lot of the, um, the outputs of this, insights, um, ideation um, and validation will be very, very high level. So uh, we mm -hmm. might identify that there's an opportunity in a specific um, solution or solution concept, such as uh, we need a way to um, give our customers some sort of um, insights into how their business um, is doing and, and, and compare that to what's happening in industry, mm -hmm. for example. That's very high level. How it works, mm -hmm. what functionality um, needs to live within that, that's still, um, I'm, I'm not defined, but we have identified a problem area or we have identified an opportunity within market and we are coming up with ideas to solve it. Um, in most cases, um, if it warrants, um, we, we might need to go into some sort of a service blueprinting to understand um, what needs to happen from an organizational operational level to enable that type of an experience for our users. So we will service blueprint and come up with the customer journey, um, take a look at what happens backstage to enable that, what uh, data and metrics do we need to be tracking against that uh, new and improved um, user experience. And sometimes it does lead to a little bit of a change in operational models 
um, mm -hmm. um, that enable that. Sometimes it's, it leads to a change in the architectural uh, processes and structures and working quite closely mm -hmm. with the architect to define what that should be. Um, but that's a level yeah. at which we define our, our yeah. solutions. And, some, and a lot of times that leads to a year's worth or two years worth of um, solutions to build within the product teams. And the product designers wow. sort of take over from there, taking those sure. um, service blueprints and turning those into tangible um, solutions for our users and customers. So it's a very tiered approach. Um, it starts with uh, mm -hmm. some sort of fire burning opportunity uh, uh, being seen um, and then um, sort of distills into a solution that the product teams then begin to um, detail and, and, and build. Mm -hmm.